Okay, in this video we're going to do Y.1564. So to access that, we're still going to do select test, and we're going to select the Y.1564. So we'll tap on that button, bring up the Y1564 screen. You'll notice this looks very, very similar to the multi-stream test. So I'm not going to go through all the different configurations as far as how to set up a multi-stream test. We're going to stay with a single stream here. Uh, single service to make it simple but uh, what I want to point out is that we do support up to 16 services just like multi-stream you're going to select it just the way you normally would your frame config is set up exactly the same uh, as far as source destination VLAN MPLS uh, for multi-stream each stream needs to be unique for each service and then traffic rate when we come down the traffic rate this is where it's a little different for Y.1564 we have a new view we need to enter what our committed information or CIR rate is and we need to enter what our EIR rate is so you can have a separate CIR and EIR rate and uh, you know your CIR rate may be 10 megabits but your EIR may be 20 me uh, kilobits so we give the percents for each one so you can individually change that in this case we're setting that it's going to run 100 percent 50 percent CIR rate 50% EAR rate. I'll leave it default to make it a little faster. Our CIR steps, we can change that, and that's how many steps is it going to take to get up to CIR, and then how many, and then the same amount of steps um, to EIR. It's just one additional step, so I should say it's not the same amount. Uh, so in this case, I'll do, say, four steps. And notice now our total duration is expected to be about 150 seconds. That's because the step duration for each step is very long. Let's go ahead and change that maybe to three seconds and let's uh, see how that affects the test. All right, there we go, much better. 15 seconds, a little faster. Now, if I was running multiple services and I wanted to copy the CIR and EIR to every service, I would just tap on copy to all. Uh, same way with the CIR steps and the step durations. If I was running multiple uh, services, I could just do copy to all. Traffic policing is the OLR rate. It's above and beyond EIR rate. It's into the red or drop frames. And so when traffic policing is enabled, you have to have a traffic policer set up on your router or on your ingress switch. And what that's testing for is it's going to try and uh, transmit faster than what the traffic policer should be set up for to allow maximum CIR and EIR for that customer through the network. If it allows additional traffic to pass, that means the policer is not set up properly and the test should fail when traffic policing is turned on. We'll leave that off for this test though. Uh, same as before, we can do distribute evenly to distribute all the CIR EIR evenly across. Uh, all the streams if we wanted to and clear all puts everything back to default so in this case I'm just going to go ahead and say OK to go back now service configuration service performance Y1564 defines two separate tests service configuration which tests each stream individually for the configuration for each service to make sure it's configured properly service performance runs all the services simultaneously to make sure that the ingress switch in the network, the routers can support all those services running simultaneously and still maintain the service level agreement. So in this case, I'm gonna tap on service configuration and also service performance. Now notice when we do service performance, it immediately pops up and asks, how long do you run to run the service performance tests? And in this case, I'm just gonna make it additional three seconds to keep it quicker. We'll say, okay, and done. And then service acceptance criteria. We need to define what's the pass-fail criteria for uh, frame transfer delay. Uh, that's your latency. Frame delay variation. That's jitter. Uh, maximum frame loss. How much maximum frame loss are you going to allow? Minimum availability if it's turned on. And we can go ahead and turn that on here so we get a full test done. And that way what we can see now is that we're going to be looking for as we test this service that our frame transfer delay is no more than 20 microseconds. Our jitter or delay variation is five microseconds. We are not gonna lose more than one-tenth of a percent of frames, and our minimum availability must be 99.9%. .9%. Uh, 
Uh, if those same as before, if you have multiple services configured, you can just do copy all and it automatically populates all that if the SLAs are the same for all the streams or services. So I'll do OK there. And that will close that screen, bring us back. So now we're ready to run a test just as before. We need to put in a test ID. And I'm just going to call that Y, make it very simple. And now we'll start the test. So what's going to happen is that on this, once we start the test, it's going to test each one of the steps individually. It's going to record how long is the time run, how long is the test run, how many frames will we set. Notice that we're progressively going up the CIR, that's your green traffic. And then once we hit 50%, now we're going to burst another 50% EIR. That's going to test that service. So that's going to verify that it's configured properly. If traffic policing was active, then you would have a red band as well. Here we're testing all the limited information rate of all the services. In the performance test, we do not test EIR and we do not test traffic policing. That's not part of the Y1564 standard. All right, our test is completed now. And here we have our service performance test for all the services, which is one service in this case. It looks at the service performance of all the services, minimum, maximum, and threshold. If I wanted to look at the per stream statistics, I would just press the next button and that brings up uh, the fetching the results for service number one. Here's service number one, the statistics. We can also look at a summary. So if I press on summary, I'm now getting a table version of all the different streams that were run. In this case, we're showing the summary and then the individual services and that it was passing. I can go back to details again and get the same type of information for my configuration results for each one of the tests. And same way, so now we're looking at our configuration for stream number one and I can get a summary for the, all the streams as well. So that's how you perform a Y.1564 test. Very powerful, very graphical, and this report is generated so you can give to your customers and export it out as well. So we're going to stop here. We're going to move on to the next video, which should be advanced loopbacks.